Now check that out, an abandoned football stadium here in Atlanta, Georgia. So let's go explore. Wherever I come, I'm bad luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. Right now I am on the visitor side, underneath the visitor side bleachers, and at one point this hallway was just filled with fans, visiting fans, the rival team, but now it is just piles and piles and piles of junk. It's actually quite heartbreaking, very somber. Nothing in these rooms. They are empty. Graffiti all over the walls. Oh, it looks like this was a concession stand. Sorts. There's either soda or beer lines back there. Carbonation. No food or drinks being served here today ever again. Entrance gates. Looks, that's probably where the bathrooms were. There's nothing there. I'm right about where the 50 yard line is, so let's go out and take a look at the main field. At one point, football teams would be playing here. These, these stands that are empty and gutted from their seat, their seats are gutted. We're filled with screaming fans for their, their favorite football team. But the stadium is now silent. It is a dead stadium. Let's go take a look at the home team side. See if there's anything interesting over there. Cans of empty spray paint all over the place as I kick lids. Again, another empty room. I keep hearing a gate open and close. It has this creepy creak, like Creeps House. Popular take on the Waffle House. No Waffle House is here. Instead, it's Creeps House. So hopefully, Mr. Creep does not mind me walking through his home, exploring. I mean, look at all this trash. So now we're walking across the bridge. Now this is where the main gate, the main entrance is. Uh, down this way. Let's take a look at this. There's the visitor side once again. The main field. I'm heading over that way to the home team side. Uh, abandoned buildings in the background. You can see that. It's crazy. Abandoned buildings, as much as I love them, it's kind of sad to see them broken down and being fa fallen into disrepair because. I mean, heck, half the time, those buildings are absolutely beautiful. 
A lot of graffiti artists. These gates are pretty neat. All right. Let's go up here and take a look. There's the the home team side right above where the football field is silent and beautiful all right we're gonna head up towards the sky boxes which are right up there and it's pretty windy and cold here today Check out that guy, that's pretty neat. Back in 1959, Ray Charles performed here with a couple other people on the bill. And uh, the person, the promoter who put it on, recorded it with a single microphone from the audience, and it went on to becoming one of Ray Charles's best live albums called Ray Charles Live and in person. How neat is that? Now, I have never been a big fan of graffiti. Never really understood it, and half the time I can't even read it. But most of the time, if done right, it is pretty beautiful, pretty original. Walking on some broken glass. Walking on, walking on, broken glass. So how do we get up to these sky boxes? Train. Going further up. seats are still intact. Now we are right below the sky boxes. We'll get up there in a minute, but look at all this broken glass. Atlanta is huge. Look at that over there. more dead rooms and an elevator there's no way in hell I'm getting inside that elevator so we need to go up more and how do we get up there Crap, we are pretty freaking high up right now. Have I mentioned before that I do not like heights? My knees are a shaking. Oh, Jesus, God. We're up here on the roof. Now I'm not gonna walk on the roof because who knows how stable it is. My luck will fall right through. Not that I weigh that much, but still, it's not something I'm gonna do. 
There's the stadium lights. Now there's the clock tower off in the distance right over there. That clock tower, I want to get inside there. Not today, another day. Laying my way off in the distance. Now there's the Georgia Dome, which is uh, the big football stadium here in Atlanta. And the new one that they are building, which is kind of stupid if you ask me. I mean, from what I gather, the Georgia Dome, it's still good and it's relatively new. But yet they're building another one. I guess the only thing left to do now is to walk out to the 50 yard line. So right about here, that's where the visiting team would come in. And directly right across is where the home team would come in. Now there's a sign on there that says the Georgia Mustangs. This is a defunct college. If I didn't tell you that earlier, it is a college that went bankrupt and had to close its doors. So a lot of it is just left here as a graveyard of sorts. Scoreboard shows no more scores. It is a scoreless graveyard. It's pretty crazy. beautiful DK. I want to thank you again for exploring this abandoned stadium here in Atlanta, Georgia with me and hopefully that while the plan is to explore more abandoned places and this one was just right down the street from where I was today so it seemed perfect. I pass it all the time and, and have been meaning to check it out. So one more look at this place. And if you are here in Atlanta and you want to look for something interesting, come check out this abandoned stadium here in Atlanta. Until next time, stay grim. Call me a calamity man, but I'm trying as hard as I can to keep a bad luck away from me. I'm doomed to win the night, filled with misery.